for our future reference. So thank you very much for joining the live class with me. This is Paslamid, which is around the whole lecture. So we are uh, now going to discuss unit number five, the title of which is Contract Law Part 2. And Contract Law Part 1, we studied it before, uh, before our midterm exam, right? From the book Absolute Legal English, which is prescribed, which has been prescribed to you. So now look at the questions here, the lead in. Discuss these questions with the partner. What is a breach of contract? What types of breach are there? What can the injured party do when there is a breach of contract? So I will now ask you to um, think over this question, three questions in the lead in for a few seconds, 30 seconds around. You can use your smartphone or laptop, okay, and search on Google. Or you can, if you know, already have known about this stuff, like breach of contract, types of breach, uh, breach, right? So you can say and discuss, okay, with me right now. So only nine participants joined, have joined with us so far. Okay, I think you can understand me, right? Nine parts. So search these things on Google and find your answer and then discuss. Okay, I will listen to you. Anyone can read? Sir, you will ask. Sir, you will ask. Can you see? Can you see? Double you will ask you will ask sir, three or I'll I'll defend my I, I will uh, choose my question from there now. Yes, yes. If you know the answer of these three questions, you can say right now. If you don't know, you can search okay. uh, on Google. Okay. It's my choice, right? The, which question? Sir, it's my choice that uh, which question I will select. Uh, no, no, no. All the, three questions, not not a particular one. One, two, three in leading. Who for a jam leading is the best interpretation is a me. Kasha did a eight interpretation. Yes, sir. Eight interpretation. So, I take Google search the application bolt up and a key. search them. Jana or yes. Do the Jana take the leg? Jana do the Nathan. Okay, sir. Google search her head in the world. What types of breach are there? What can the injured party do when there is a breach of contract? What is a breach of contract? Uh, shape of cookie goes to worry, but key action is the very early. Okay, so allow 10 minutes. And I'm trying to prepare how many, how many minutes, just uh, five to eight minutes. No, 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 that's too long. You will get only two minutes, okay, sir. Past yeah. my recommendation. Two minutes maximum, three minutes, not more than three minutes. You don't need to do any research, you just find out the def definition, okay? Type definition and uh, what can the injured party do, okay? When there is a breach of conduct, that's it. One or two lines is enough. One or two lines will be enough. Sir. Sir, can I say in my way of thinking? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes. Why not? 
uh, sir, uh, when uh, two contract. or more party enter into contract, and uh, if they do not act according to contract, uh, this is called breach of contract. Absolutely fine. Anyone else to share their views? A breach of contract. The next, the next uh, question is uh, what types of breach when are there? In there. a binding agreement fails, in uh, legal terms, you have to the legal terms, or you can be one of these opinions. Sir, someone is unmute uh, in this class. So Okay, before saying something, you need to raise your hand. Okay, I then allow you one by one. Don't say together, okay? That will be a mess. Sir, I found four types of um, a breach of contract. And okay. these what are, are they? anticipatory contract, actual right. contract, right. Uh, actual uh, material, and minor. Absolutely fine. These... OK, and what about other, other students? Have you found it similar to to these these or different? If you found any, Okay, what's your name who said uh, the four categories of breach of contract? What's your name? Sir, I'm Kausar Ahmed. Kausar Ahmed, okay. Sir. Okay, anyone else would like to sir. share? Yes, sir. Sanjida, yes, sir. okay, she has raised hand. Okay, sir. Sanjida, you are allowed to say now. Ifat, you mute yourself, please. Okay, Sanjida, unmute yourself and then say share your views. Yes, sir. Um, uh, a breach of contract is a failure without legal excuse to perform any promise that form all or part of contract. Okay. Uh, this is the answer to question number one or two or three. I think one, yeah? Yes, sir. Um, this is uh, question on answer one. Okay, and what about two? I think that's okay. What about two now? Would you like to say anything uh, regarding question number two? No, sir. Okay, okay, then now we will go to the next participant, Roman. Roman has raised his hand. Okay, now Roman, uh, Sanjita, mute yourself. And Roman, unmute yourself and share your views regarding these questions. Okay, sir. Uh, as first, I uh, given the answer of the question number one. Yeah. The question one, uh, one was, what is the breach of contract actually, sir? Okay. Sir, so, uh, a breach of contract occurs when the party they fails to fulfill their obligations as uh, outlined in a legal binding agreement to our contract. It involves mm -hmm. the violation of any of the terms of the conditions agreed upon the parties involved. Mm -hmm. so this is the uh, third actually the answer. Okay. And fine. there and was a question, question number two. Two. The first okay. types of breach are there. Right, sir? Yes. What types of breach are there? So, so actually, what uh, types, two types discuss, or more than that? Sir, uh, if, we, uh, if we discuss uh, deeply, we got actually sir, six points. Number six one, types. Uh, you have found six, six types, types, right? Six types, yes, sir. And so, number Kaushar one, number has three, found four types. Okay. Share your six uh, types. Six types. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm telling. Number one, the material breach. Yeah. Two, the minor breach. Number three, anticipatory breach. Mm -hmm. Number four, the actual breach. 
-hmm. Number five, the partial bridge, and six, the fundamental bridge. Okay. Partial bridge and fundamental bridge. That's fine. So you have got two additional bridges in compared to uh, four bridges that Kausar shared with us, right? Yes, so sir. The additional are partial and fundamental, right? Fundamental, fundamental sir. Okay. So, okay. Now, let you me need explain. Sir, In fact, actually, there need are any You need any definition or suggest any definition now for a partial or uh, fundamental bridge? Uh, no, 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 no. Just let me clear first. Then I will go for that. So, fundamental okay. bridge and, uh, you know, the another one is uh, the partial number bridge. three. A partial bridge. And the anticipatory bridge and actual bridge, right? So actual bridge, okay, okay. Actual bridge and fundamental bridge actually synonymous. Okay, the same thing. Yes, sir. Actual bridge and fundamental bridge are the same thing. Just synonymous words have been used here. Okay, sir. and partial sir, but, uh, bridge there is and a, anticipatory sir, I, bridge are. Sir, there is a uh, there is a definition is different different, but uh, like uh, Harry is telling to that. Some extent, yes. Uh, to some extent, there are some difference. But they are closely connected and related and closely similar. Okay, so far I know. Okay, but there are few differences. That's fine. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on for a few seconds. There are two daily. Let me share you the extent of this book. Okay. Reach of okay, sir. Reach of Find a party. Uh, someone actually making the noise. Can you uh, tell them to stop there? Unmute their mic. Sorry, mute their mic. Uh, can you hear me clearly? Maybe there is a Mr. Noor. Hello. Okay. Can you hear me clearly? No, sir. You are uh, you are audible. I'm audible. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, that's fine. So, uh, so now, oh. sir, uh, question three, sir. Question three, yeah. Carry yes. on. What can they do? The party do uh, when there is a breach of contract. So, uh, there is actually, sir, uh, the uh, six things. So before I am telling the definition, where the injured party the encounters a breach of contract, they have the several options available to them to seek uh, to seek remedies. Say it loudly, loudly, the, little bit loudly. Sir, okay, sir. Uh, now I am so loud. Carry on. Hello. Carry on. Yes, yes sir. The course of the action will depend on the nature and extend to the breach as well as the terms of the contract and applicable laws so here are some the common action that as an injured party can take number one demand performance number two negotiate a resolutions mm -hmm. number three the seek damages number four claim specific performance number five is change or terminate the contract Number six, six, number six, seek injective relief. Okay. So six steps an injured party can take, right? In case of breach. Yes, sir. So, and that depends specifically on type of breach. Yeah? What type of actually breach is that? So depending on the breach, the injured party can take action, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Can seek that. Thank you, Roman. That's excellent. Okay, now we uh, would like to go to the next participant. Azizul has raised hand. Okay, so Roman, please mute yourself, and Azizul, please unmute and share your views. Okay, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Um, sir, <clears throat> a breach of contract is a violation of any of the agreed upon terms and condition of a bindings contract. That's fine. Question number one. Then two. Yes, sir. Uh, two, sir. Um, there are 
uh, fourth type of breach of contract. Fourth type, okay. Uh, uh, anticipatory, actual, material, and minor. Okay, that's fine. And question number three, would you like to answer that or not? Mm, question, what can the injured party do when there is a breach of contract? <clears throat> Sorry, sir. Okay, okay. It's no problem. So, let me share the thing, share the extract here actually, as it is. Breach of contract. There is a breach of contract when a party to a contract fails to perform his obligation under the contract. Simple as that. So, examples of such breach are the failure to supply goods or perform a service as agreed. There are varying degrees of breach, minor level or major level, right? Depending on the terms of the contract and the importance of the terms to the core of the contract. The breach of contract does not automatically start to discharge the contract. Each situation depends on the nature of the breach, but a breach of contract does give the innocent party a number of options to terminate the contract. So, okay, here innocent party is the injured party, okay? Innocent party is same or very similar to injured person. So, we can, uh, we can guess that injured party or innocent party is A and the other party is B, okay? So like this, we can discuss the things. The breaches that give rise to such options are expressed or implied repudiation. What does repudiation mean? Do you know that? You can search on Google to find the meaning of this word, repudiation. Where one party can repudiate the contract as a result of the party. That means repudiate means reject. Okay. Not accepting something. Where one party can repudiate the contract as a result of the party in breach, failing to perform some terms of the contract. Not all the terms, but some terms. Some terms with some conditions. Okay. Repudiation before performance. Performance means before work. Or before action. So repudiation is uh, uh, like not willing to uh, do the task, not willing to go into action, okay, with party B or with party A. So repudiation before performance and repudiation, uh, okay. So repudiation before performance is due, is known as anticipatory breach, okay, so which is. Uh, like partial breach, okay? Already mentioned as additional breach, six breaches by Roman, okay? So why the contract is repudiated before performance is due? And fundamental breach, so here we can see that in this extract, two major types of breach are mentioned, okay? One is anticipated breach, another is fundamental breach, okay? Though we discussed four to six types of uh, breach of contracts, right? But here only two types, major breach of contract are mentioned. Okay, one is anticipatory, which we can also uh, relatively connect with partial breach. And the other is fundamental breach, which we can associate with um, actual breach, okay, that we have found after search on Google, okay? So fundam fundamental breach is why the party in B. So what is anticipated breach? Anticipated breach is repudiation before performance. That means the rejection or not accepting or not willing to do the action, okay, before performance. And what is fundamental breach? Fundamental breach is why the party in breach has committed a serious breach, okay? This is very serious. Fundamental breach is not ordinary. Okay, it, it is very serious breach. So in that case, 
the party A or which in which case we can see we can say innocent party. Okay, innocent party is harmed very much. Okay. So in that case we address as injured party. So in fundamental breach, normally party A or party B is injured. And that at a very high degree. So fundamental breach is where the party in breach has committed a serious, committed a serious breach. That's not a normal breach, okay? Or a fundamental term. Okay, fundamental term or condition or totally fails to perform the contract. The effect of a of a repudiatory breach is not always the ending of the contractual relationship. The innocent party or the injured party does have a couple of choices. What are the choices? He may treat the contract as discharged by frustration. Okay, you can find this uh, ex uh, expression like, and you should, you must learn by heart these phrases, okay, these terms, new terms and phrases like implied repudiation, breach of contract, anticipatory breach, fundamental breach, okay, minor breach, material breach, okay. So this breach you must learn by heart, okay. Otherwise, uh, all things go in vain as actually our purpose is to learn the new terms, new phrases, okay, so that we can use them in action, in our profession, in our education. So another is discharge by frustration. So I recommend you to search this in Google and tell me what does this mean by discharge by frustration. Okay. Anyone can tell me. Okay. And bring an action for damages for breach. So or he may elect. So this is another choice by innocent party or injured party. So while a breach of contact takes place or happens. So the second choice is he may elect to treat the contract as valid, com complete his side of the bargain, and then sue for damages from the other party. So means take action, okay? Take legal action for damages or sue for damages from the other party. Okay, have you found the meaning of uh, discharge by frustration? What is actually it? Hello, can you listen to me? Uh, yes, sir. Raise your hand and then share your views. What is discharge by frustration? And what is implied repudiation? These two, uh, sorry, this one, not this one. These two phrases. Discharge by frustration and Implied repudiation. Sir, P H A yeah. Both, both here. Express repudiation and implied repudiation. Both phrases. So three phrases you need to find out the meaning of. Contract as. Discharged by express reputation, implied reputation, and discharge by frustration. You can also search for anticipatory breach already mentioned here, the definition and example as well, and the fundamental fundamental breach as well. So uh, to clear my view, you the you asking uh, contract as discharged by frustration, right? Hmm. Treat the contract as discharged by frustration. So discharged by frustration is totally different phrase. It has a special meaning in law. Okay. Especially in contract law. Breach of contract. Have you found any? Sir, I, I, I'm a little bit confused. Actually, you want to what, sir?
So if the contract breach, whenever any accident happens, that is actually no one to blame, right? So that's the kind yes. of caused by frustration. Okay, so am I clear to you? Have yes, you sir. Understand. By searching the Google, if someone breach the contract, uh, that means as discharged by uh, frustration. Mm -hmm. So discharge by frustration can be defined as a contract that is discharged or stopped due to an event that the parties have no control over. That means natural calamity, disaster, storm, flood, okay? So no one's hand actually related to the occurrence. So that's actually natural occurrence and that's actually uh, we can blame our fate, our destiny, okay? So in that case, actually, no one to blame. And in that case, the situation stands as discharged by frustration. Okay. So after investigation, we, we, we normally find out actually who is to blame, right? And for whom actually natural calamities, uh, the party, the injured party is victim for, okay? Or the discharge of frustration tokoni hoy jokon uh kono prakritik durjog ba accident ei dhoroner kono karone protigrosto hoy ortat jekhane party a kingba party b karoni dosh deya jay thik ache shei khetre discharge of frustration or mutual understanding er maddhome tokhon shei dhoroner shei dhoroner case gulo ba shei dhoroner contract gulo ke settle down kora hoy okay Okay, let me progress further and bring an action for damages for breach. Among Tapur investigation, Johan Koraha, Tapon, Dehao Jashole, Cardos to Beshi. For example, a town fit Jahad Party B, Party A, Jone Patalo, Good Supply Gorajan. For example, Amade Deshej Garments. Garments goods or the two e poshakar ki ready made garments. Shegulo shipe kore Europe America jai. To ekhane amon ekta shipe dewa holo je ship ta match pothi dube gallo. To ship to our party A king ba party B. Jodi o party B er ship into shetar ichcha kore dube ani nije just kyun nije dube ani na? So that's discharge of by process. Kintu er pore kotha thakte. To the damage to the hoye jekaron ekhane party B. আগে দেখা উচিত ছিল যে তার জাহাজটা ফিট কিনা সেটা আনফিট না আনফিট তো সেই ধরনের ক্ষেত্রে তখন অ্যাকশন নেওয়া যেতে পারে তখন ড্যামেজের জন্য সে সেখানে সু করতে পারে ওকে এই ধরনের সিচুয়েশনে ডিসচার্জ বা ফ্রাস্ট্রেশন ফেজটা চলে আসে আর যখন ইচ্ছাকৃতভাবে পার্টি বি পার্টি এর প্রতি করে অথবা পার্টি এ পার্টি বি এর প্রতি করে সেই ক্ষেত্রে সেটা ফান্ডামেন্টাল ব্রিচের অধীনে পড়ে সিরিয়াস case othoba jodi cast ta howar agi pichhe pore party a kingba party b tokhon seta anticipatory breach ba sadharon ekta contract breach er moddhe pore kono karon eshe pichhe gelo ar bi contract ta she somporno korlo okay so amra motamoti ekhane instruct pore nilam to ekhane ekhon amra dekhbo poroborti je reading er ei instruction sathe related je question gulo what two examples of a breach are given can you answer this question after reading this tract? Are you there with me? Roman, I think you both is absent. After half a conotola. Oh, sir, you, first time I raised the hand and it just didn't come. Okay, you can. Is it first time you raised or the second time? This is the second time, sir, when you uh, okay, okay. actually... For your hand and answer the question. Question number one from the reading extract. 
what are example what two examples of which are given here Pardon? So, we can see this. Are you sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, Online class will be a problem. I am just seeing that there is no chance. But online, so many issues are there. So response only that one class time will be effective. But otherwise, class time effective will not be. Okay, so here we have two different two different examples. Here we expect there to be. So one is anticipated breach and the other is fundamental breach, right? So these two types of breach are. Given in these extracts, that's the question answer to the question number one. So now we go to the question number two. What is the difference between a fundamental and anticipated breach? Fundamental and anticipated breach are the part of Kogi. They have been Bolvin. So repudiation before performance is due is known as anticipatory breach, but the contract is repudiated before performance is due. Whereas fundamental breach is part the party in breach has committed a serious breach of a fundamental term or condition or totally fails to perform the contract. Right? So that's the difference. While you define the thing that in that way, you will find the difference. सिंपलर ओके The next question: What two choices for the innocent party are given in the contract extract? So, innocent party, जो ने कौन दी था choice एक ने दिया हुआ है, ये extract है। इसे couple of choices लिखे थे, ना? In the innocent party does have a couple of choices. इसे एक ने शेष दी था लाइन। Right? Yes, sir. इसे आप तो लुक करेंगे। नाम फंडामेंटलिफ So fundamental breach is serious breach and anticipated breach is ordinary breach. Okay, if we define it sim, uh, define it simply. And anticipated breach happens before the action. Fundamental breach happens in between action. मतलब काजर मुद्दे डे घोटे. और anticipated breach तो जो काज होर आगे ही घोटे जाए. मतलब काज होर आगे एक पक्को पीछे जाए आगे. तो अपन anticipated breach है. So that's a kind of rejection or repudiation before performance. A poor six number the question: What two choices for the innocent party are given in the extract? Okay, so innocent party does have a couple of choices. So two choices: he may cheat the contract as discharged by frustration, and bring an action for damages for breach. 
this is one choice and the other choice is he may elect to treat the contract as valid right the contract is actually invalid not valid so it is not again i another look for them either it is it yeah Practical damage, a car is a way to say, you can get a mutual understanding of the meter. The damage is the shit. It should have put the burden the settle down. But I took a shit at the valid issue in the end of the Mamla Mokodama. It is the action now. Complete is side of the bargain and then sue for damages from the other party. Yeah, but the take legal action for damages. Okay, so is 